you seen Russell Morgan? He's in the yard, Captain. It's lock up. Come on, back to yourselves. Come on, you lads. Let's be having you know we ain't got all day. Lock up. Back to yourselves now. Hey, right. you down the far end. Move for my show. Go on. Don't you hang around till I drop you, you ugly little man. Come on now, let's be having you. Back to yourselves. Move. Move when I talk to you. Inside. I'll head Williams take Russell more than home. Good. I'm going to go over to see him. Miss Hewitt, Mr. Marshall, could we continue? Now, would you tell everyone here, Mr. Fellow, a little of your medical history? When I was 12 years old, my father became very ill. He was diagnosed as having cancer of the bowels. It took nearly two years for him to pass on. And I saw him become a skeleton, unable to feed himself, dress, or do anything for himself. It left me with a deep emotional scar and a terror of illness, especially anything to do with the bowels. Look, I don't know about balaclavas. I mean, I'm not sure about this. Maybe you wait a few days. Yo, you said you wanted us to not keep Smith about four, yeah? Now, we're prepared to do it, but you've got to play your part. Come on. I know, I know. I just don't know when. Well, you leave the cell door open for us, then. If you do, we'll go down there and do them in. You made the deal. OK, I'll get the masks. But don't do anything till I tell you, all right? I've got to go now. Look, uh, here's some extra smokes and there's paper. All right? Yes, what? Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> We got them, Bry. We got the bleeding lot of them now, mate. It's an extra smoke sick in The thing is, Eugene, when they know we've got this, they're gonna do a strip search. It won't get us a deal for open nick. Now I've thought about that. We're gonna give it to Tarzan to protect it. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> nice one. Who's gonna give it to him now? You. He's your mate, isn't he? You little bastard. <laughs> Governor? It's good. Well, well, you said you wanted proof. Here's your proof. Oh, let me keep it. Oh, let's keep that, Gov. Oh, now. Oh, come on, it's a little time. Hand it over. Oh, all right. <laughs> Swivel! Then six years ago, when I was in Brixton, I had to have an enema for constipation. We have got Mr. Fallas' medical reports, Mr. Turnbull. I'm aware of that, but you do not have in detail the emotional reasons nor the deep-seated fear under which my client has acted. Your client, Mr. Turnbull, has been sentenced for three terms for his part in armed robbery. I've always maintained my innocence. Well, on the yeah, last yes, one... I think at this stage we should give Mr. Fallas the opportunity, before being questioned by DCI Tully and DS Marsh, to explain his state of mind. You may continue, Mr. Fallon. All prisoners in educational classes form a line at the gates. Those on mental and wood workshops wait. Well, we listened to the tape. They got him, stupid bastard. So, what happens next? She had to decide what we do from here. Okay, he's gone. Tarzan on workshop, is it? Education. For beginners, computer training. Fuck <laughs> me. Make sure you've got some extra backup then. Right. You then placed both broken medical bottles on the end of the mop pieces. No comment. Is it right that you then threatened and assaulted Senior Officer Morgan? No comment. Is it still all right to say nothing? You then fought this same officer and in doing so slashed his throat several times. I deny slashing his throat. Do you agree you might have caused him an injury in the throat area? No comment. Do you accept that you made various threats to kill Officer Morgan? No comment. 
Do you accept you tied into a chair? No comment. During the early stages of negotiation between yourself and senior prison staff, you displayed a knowledge of the procedure of such incidents. How did you come by that knowledge? No comment. Was it because you've held hostages in a similar manner in a prison situation before? No comment. By persistently answering no comment to these questions, are you saying you don't wish to answer? Or are you denying these allegations ever happened? It is my right not to answer questions. <sighs> you wish to say something, Mr. Bunny? No comment. Now, will you all take your exercise okay? And also settle down, take one of these gifts, okay? What's a fax machine? Well, it's about that big like. But that's a printer, that's not a fax machine. But we're a fax machine. You put the paper in there and then you dial a number, right? So the paper goes in this end and out there, and at the other end they get the message. Stop talking, please. Now, as Which we other end? Well, you've sent it. Huh? Then we have machines. Two people will have to work the same word processor, OK? How does it do that? Well, they've got a fax machine at their end. It's all done with codes. What codes? Phone numbers. I'm not talking okay. to you. Settle down. How does it work? I don't know if it was a fax machine. You put the paper here, it comes out there, and then they get it. Does everyone have one? What, the same piece of paper? No, they've got their paper at the other end. Yeah? The keyboard now here on the word processor is structured like an ordinary typewriter, OK? But your commands are... Scrolls off from their end. Please sit down. Can you type? No. I can't. I can type. Listen, you take care of this for me, I'll explain later. Brian, all of you, please, do not talk amongst yourselves. Mr Tarzan, isn't it? Yes. Glad you could join us. Thank you. Well, how much typing have you done before? Uh, Do you have a speed? What? You want to show me? Yeah. Do you touch type or need to look? Old man switching air up, eh? You behave yourself, son. I'll put you through that wall. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Shut up! The next one of you starts talking, I'll give you a thrashing. Could do it a lot faster enough as a real one. Good. Now pass the car to Brian. You'll be able to start straight away with the word processor. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't an alphabetical order, you know, miss. That is the point, Brian. The keyboard is structured to assist fast movement, all right? The letters arranged QWERTY you. Q W E R T Y U I O P. Okay. Does anyone have any idea why they are arranged in this particular yeah, order? Miss. Yes? Because we use them the most. Yes, good. <laughs> no comment. During the continued assault on Officer Morgan, you placed a noose or a ligature about his neck and you tightened it. Why was that? No comment. You continued to threaten Officer Morgan in as much as you were intending to take his life. Was that really your intention? No comment. This interview will terminate here. Due to police procedure, you have the right to read the record of this interview. If you agree to be a true and accurate record, you may initial each of your answers and sign at the foot of each page. Will you do that? Yes. Well, at least that got a response. Is it still all right to say that? DCI Tully, the government would like to see you before you leave.
just don't know when. Well, you leave a cell door open for us, then. If you do, we'll go down there and do them in. You made the deal. OK, I'll get the masks. But don't do anything till I tell you, all right? I've got to go now. Look, uh, here's some extra smokes and there's paper, all right? Yes, one. Yes, Thank you. Oh. <laughs> we got them, Bry. We got the bleeding lot of them now, mate. It's some extra smoke, so please pay. The thing is, Eugene, when they know we've got this, they're gonna do a strip search. It won't get us a deal for open nick. Now I've thought about that. We're gonna give it to Tarzan to protect it. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> nice one. Who's gonna give it to him now? You. He's your mate, isn't he? You little bastard. <laughs> Governor? Good. Well. Well, you said you want some proof. Here's your proof. Oh, let me keep it. Oh, let's keep that, Gov. Oh, now. Oh, come on, it's a little time. Hand it over. Oh, all right. <laughs> Swivel! Then, six years ago, when I was in Brixton, I had to have an enema for constipation. We have got Mr. Faller's medical reports, Mr. Turnbull. I'm aware of that, but you do not have in detail the emotional reasons nor the deep-seated fear under which my client has acted. Your client, Mr. Turnbull, has been sentenced for three terms for his part in armed robbery. I've always maintained my innocence. Well, on the yeah, last Yes, one... I think at this stage we should give Mr. Faller the opportunity, before being questioned by DCI Tully and DS Marsh, to explain his state of mind. You may continue, Mr. Fallon. All prisoners in educational classes form a line at the gates. Those on metal and wood workshops wait. Well, we listened to the tape. They got him, stupid bastard. So, what happens next? Well, she'd have to decide what we do from here. Okay, he's coming. Tarzan on workshop, is it? Apply for beginners computer training. Fuck <laughs> me. Make sure you've got some extra backup then. All right. You then placed both broken medical bottles on the end of the mop pieces. No comment. Is it right that. When I was 12 years old, my father became very ill. He was diagnosed as having cancer of the bowels. It took nearly two years for him to pass on. And I saw him become a skeleton, unable to feed himself, dress, or do anything for himself. It left me with a deep emotional scar and a terror of illness, especially anything to do with the bowels. Look, I don't know about balaclavas. I mean, I'm not sure about this. Maybe you wait a few days. Yo, you said you wanted us to not keep Smith about four, yeah? Now, we're prepared to do it, but you've got to play your part. Come on. I know. Have you seen Russell Morgan? He's in the yard, Gav. It's lock up. Come on, back to yourselves. Come on, you lads. Let's be having you know we ain't got all day. Lock up. Back to yourselves now. Hey, right. you down the far end. Move for my show. Go on. Don't you hang around till I talk to you, ugly little man. Come on now, let's get over here. Back to yourselves. Move! Move when I talk to you! Inside! I'll have Williams take Russell more than home. Good, I'm going to go over to see Miss Hewitt, Mr. Marshall. Could we continue? Now, would you tell everyone here, Mr. Fellow, a little of your medical history. 